The Cardinal have won 13 games in a row. As that slapped up the middle and a leadoff single for Haley Hansen. And out the Hornets order and that is back to back base hits to start things off. So no sign of the bunt there from Ludwig. And a couple of singles, the Hornets threatening here in the first. Hornets an early lead. The 1-1 one -one hits her. And Sacramento State has the bases loaded with nobody out. It's all right. Up to in the last several games, they've had RBI every single game in the last three. Swing and a miss there as Chung wins the battle. Foul to jump ahead. Chung looking for another strikeout. The 0-2, got her. Took a little something off and back-to-back -back Ks. The 1-1 from Chung. Ripped to right and that's going to get down for a hit. Two runs are going to come in to score. And a clutch two-out single for Alexis Parrish puts the Hornets up 2-0. Clutch. And that, I think, got a piece of her, so the bases will be loaded again. The 2-1. In the air to right. Back goes Coke under it and makes the catch to end the first. Sacramento State will settle for two. And ahead in the count here, three and one. She does have some power, too, as she strokes that one to center field. Eccles under it for out number one. Bertuccio was a unanimous Big Sky Pitcher of the Year last season. And she gets the strike out there. Called strike three, out number two. Sends that one down the left field line. Long run, sprawling catch by Parrish. And that ends the inning. So you're talking about a couple of decades. Chopper to shortstop, fielded by Mailer. And one away in the top of the second. Common opponent, both here in Northern California. And a call strike three from Chung. Counts. And that's ball four, so a two-out walk will extend the inning. And now the dangerous Lewa Day will get a chance to hit. Here's the 3-1. Grounded to short, Mailer will throw to first, and that ends the inning. Nice job by Kylie Chung, gives up the two-out walk, but nothing else. And we will head to the bottom of the second. All-West region last year. Off to another great start this season. Rips that one to left, and it gets down all the way to the wall. Extra bases for Kaneshiro. A leadoff double in the bottom of the second. Control that and get it in the zone even better. But you still got to mix it in. Loop to left center field, and that's going to split the gap. Here comes Kaneshiro to score. It's an RBI double for Coke, and Stanford's on the board. It's 2 1. 3 no home runs, four RBIs. Lays down a bunt, and it's a good one. Day's only play is to first base. So credit Jones with a sacrifice as Hayes moves up to third per frame. But she definitely has that stuff. As that's floated to center field, it'll be a base hit. And the game is tied at two. How about that from Jade Berry on a one-two pitch? And a couple of clutch singles as well. Grounder to the right side. Only play is to first as George flips it over. So that essentially serves as a sacrifice. 375 average. Also has four doubles and a triple, four RBIs. Nice play at first by Parrish. Takes it to the bag, and that'll end the inning. Stanford scores two to tie the game. We got 5.04. Popped up on the infield. Kern is there, and that's out number one. He's in her ninth appearance in the circle overall. The 0-2. Pop behind the plate. Nice play by Kaneshiro. And two away now in the top of the third. Manage when you're in that position behind the dish. Payoff pitch. Chopped up the middle to her right. The throw not in time from Kern. How about Alexis Paris showing off the wheels for the infield single? 
Nice job waiting on that pitch from Parrish as she bangs it into center field. And a little two-out rally here from the Hornets as you got a Parrish on second and a Parrish on first <laughs> as they come in. The one-two. Fly ball right field. Lim right in her tracks to make the catch. And she likes to go deep in the count, so why not go after her with the off speed? Sends that one the other way, deep to left field. Nice play by Parrish. Kind of spinning out there, trying to fight it off. And Strength of schedule has truly been impressive as it well. Has. Number two RPI in the nation. And that's ball four. So the 3-1. Chopper to second. This could be two. George to the bag. And back to first to double play. Nicely turned, 4-6-3 to end the inning. To face Kylie Chung, who's back out for her fourth inning of work. Eccles lays down a bunt, that's a fair ball. And quickly, the throw to first from Kaneshiro. 1-0 pitch, slapped into left field, and coming on is Hayes to pick it off for round number two. Pitch number 80. And it's a strikeout, her fourth of the game. A one, two, three, top of the fourth. Leads the team with 17 runs batted in and rips that to third. Good reaction by Day. The throw was a little offline, but Parrish went up and got it. And one on Coke. Waits on it, drives it deep to right field. Hansen drifting back and on the warning track has just enough room. From my high school in Santa Monica, crossroads. But there are some, as that's looped into left center field. And Emily Jones gonna challenge and gets in there to second base with a head first slide. A hustle double. Head 0 and 2. You can see that Barry's been aggressive and every time she's been up to the plate. So try to make her chase. And there it is, right on cue. Big strikeout for Bertuccio, her second of the game. Right field. A one pitch popped a mile high on the infield. Who wants to take it? It'll be the third baseman, Barry. <laughs> Sac State had the bases loaded again in that first inning. She got out of it, hasn't given up a run since. And there's her fifth strikeout. On the ground to third, Barry Fields and throws in time for another one, two, three inning. That's seven in a row retired with two strikes. Comes back with the heater, sent to left field, but playable. Parrish is there, and one away. Per game this year, giving up about three. Stanford averages nearly five runs, and they only give up 1.9 on average. That's gonna be a tough play for Ludwig. Quick throw to first and got her by half a step. You know. And that's a four-pitch walk, her 23rd base on balls this season. And jump ahead. Line drive to left, and it gets down just in front of the glove of Parrish. Boy, she did a pretty good job of short hopping that. The 2-2. In the air to left, Parrish back, reaches up and makes the catch. Oh, what a play to keep the game tied. Having eight hitters for the Hornets. That's banged into center field for a base hit. What a game Alexis Parrish is having. She's now three for three. She's got both RBIs for the Hornets. Hits that hard, fair ball off third base. Parrish getting the wave around third. Throw to the plate is not in time. And Sacramento State goes in front three to two. That run is under Kylie Chung's responsibility, but still. Swing and a miss. Kanashiro will throw to first to complete the out. So that is a big first out. It keeps Parrish at second. They'll have to come from behind. Has another one to the backstop, and Parrish will take third. So that's two wild pitches in the inning for Kennedy. Another one, two. Poke to third, runner stays put, throw to first is in time. 
Nicely done by Barry. The run does not come in. Repeat every single pitch. Another one-two offering, and there's the strikeout. So Kennedy able to limit the damage to one, but Sac State takes the lead. 1.94 ERA. And that hits Kaneshiro. So not what Pertuccio had in mind. Kaneshiro is aboard to lead off game. See if they can come back again. Line drive, left field, base hit. Runners on first and second with nobody out. And you can see Day over at third way in front of the back. Yeah, looks like she's anticipating Bunt, and there it is in the air. Day makes the catch. So she was charging in, and it paid off there. Popped up behind shortstop. Nice play by Ludwig. Twisting and turning and makes the catch. I know. Glad we've got good stats people. First pitch pulled to the right side. George will flip to first. And what a job by Bertuccio and the Hornets. 16 runs scored. O2 2 pitch. Called strike three. And Kennedy picks up her third strike. Here's the one, two. Fought off, and that might have hit her. That doesn't feel good. Uh, it might have got her in the hands or the wrist. Here's the pitch from Kennedy. Swing and a miss. That's strikeout number 130 of the season, her fourth. For a little bit more from her in this ball game. Not quite sure where it missed, but good idea. And then she goes back to the rise ball for strike three. Five strikeouts and two. Lays down a bunt. Bertuccio fields, throws to first, and it's in time. A ton of credit to George on team. That came against Stanford when they were ranked number 24. Here's the one, two. Strike three calls. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Got her swinging. A complete game for Marissa Bertuccio. And Sacramento State upsets number nine Stanford 3-2. to two. What a big-time performance by the Hornets as